I'm here with Jane Craig, who is a volunteer with the Canadian Cancer Society Relay for Life. Thank you for joining me today. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Now, I understand you have a very unique story to tell us about your ties to the Relay for Life and the Canadian Cancer Society. So tell us a little bit more about that. I'd be pleased to. Uh, my sister, Joyce Whiteside, Joyce Eleanor Whiteside, uh, was operated on in 1945 at the Old Cornwall General Hospital for a cancer of the breast. She was the youngest girl in Ontario at the time. The surgeon was flown in from Boston. She fully recuperated after a, a complete mastectomy and um, had lived uh, 44 years after that. Wow. Had a family, had children, a husband, worked, you know, a celebration. Right. I, I always think of the Relay for Life as a celebration of life, especially in her circumstance. Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to see it uh, completely solved for everybody, but... Yeah. That day's coming. That day's coming. We'll keep our <laughs> fingers crossed that for that day's as coming. well. Yeah. So how long have you been in, involved with the Canadian Cancer Society? <clears throat> well, first of all, I w used to work for Scotiabank, and I retired in 1999, and they got involved at Ma in Maxwell, I believe, in 2000, in that era. So I was at, on a team at that time for a couple of years, but now it's at Farron Park. So I've been connected with Farron's for the last three. Three years. Uh, basically, it was through my church, Christ Church in Long Sioux, and uh, my, our group looked after the luminaries. Wow. And that's an honor because I have a lot of fam family members that uh, went, had cancer and a lot of neighbors. Mm -hmm. It's like I said earlier, there's no street, there's no town, no. there's no house that's exempt from cancer. Everybody so. is tied to it somehow. That's right. Absolutely. That's right. So you've been doing that for three years. Yes. And I'm sure that in those three years, something stood out for you, something remarkable that, that, you know, that you've seen or that you were part of. What was that for you? It was the number of luminaries each year, how it grew, the numbers. It was just a delight to see uh, last year having to run at the end to get these luminaries, and I'm finding room for them. <laughs> to me, that, that's, that's just a, such an advanced uh, idea of thinking for people. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Let's remember our loved ones. Mm -hmm. Let's remember them. But... Uh, Put your money. Put your money Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Light up this candle. Yeah, well, because it's know? also a celebration of life, right? right. And it's That's a way right. to remember the ones that we love. So, yeah. Absolutely. We always we always know that there's people in our lives or that we know that always say, um, or they're retired and they, they want to join a cause, but they're not quite sure which one to join. And we all know that every organization is in need of volunteers. What do you think this, what makes this one so... Um, special and why people should join into this cause. It's not unique having cancer. It's not something mm -hmm. different. It affects every household, it affects every business and uh, I think if we don't all get involved it's, uh, it's, it's doesn't help the cancer society, it doesn't help our people. <laughs> so, and for one, one 24 hour period they're asking for very, very little. Absolutely, you can get very your friends little. and family together. Have and a nice can, meal. Yeah. And visit with friends. Yeah, and it, yeah absolutely. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me today and sharing with pleasure. us your, your great, unique story. And I'm sure that um, it'll, it'll stick around and people will remember this story. I so. hope so. Thank, thank you. you.